Now we will demonstrate the induction heating using a ferrite rod. The ferrite rod here is commonly used in radio circuits. When the heating coil is not loaded, the current is 0.08 ampere. Now let's put the ferrite rod into the coil. Surprisingly, the current decreases to 0.06 ampere. Despite of this, the ferrite rod gets warmer than before. Now the ferrite rod has been wrapped by a cable, which act like secondary coil in a transformer. When the ends of the cable are disconnected, the current is only 0.06 ampere. But when they are connected, the current is up to 0.25 ampere. The copper glows red and some smoke is generated with burning smell. Now the ferrite rod has been removed, leaving the secondary coil with air core. The current is 0.09 ampere. When the ends of the cable are connected, the current is up to 0.22 ampere. The copper wire doesn't seem to get as hot as before. Now only the ferrite rod is inside the heating coil. The wrapping cable is outside of it. We can see the spark when both ends of the cable are connected, although the power supply current doesn't change much. Now the ferrite core has been removed. We can see that the current changes slightly when the ends of the cable are connected. But this time no spark is visibly produced. 